So as discussed previously, uh, wait a second, please. So as discussed previously, these meshed, uh, this meshed network of sensors or nodes or smart devices uh, makes these communicate make these communication paths with each other and through these communication path then they send all the data and to these edge nodes they the data reaches the edge router and from the edge router we go to the the data or, or goes to the wi-fi internet so if uh, somehow uh, one of these communication paths is broken between any two nodes uh, or uh, or due to some weak link uh, the the, uh, the path is broken then these nodes will try to make a new path so they can make new paths in any any way so for example if this path is broken between these two nodes due to signal strength or any other reason if this is broken this node is going to make uh, such a path or go through here and then this node and then to reach the edge router so this is a very very flexible um, uh, topology it helps uh, the uh, us in the, in the network that the signals are not lost for example from uh, the walls or the buildings or any obstacles then come in between the networks is always try to find the optimized path uh, or if for example one node is is, is 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 has lost communication with some node it will try to connect with some other node in the nearby it will gonna, it's going to send signals broadcast signal to the other nodes and then any any node near it it's going to pick up and and that's how that's that's that that is how this mesh network is net, is working this is really flexible and this is a big advantage and there is one more thing which is uh, a bit different in six low pan as uh, compared to the other um, uh, IoT pro protocols that we have discussed before that in six low pan no IoT gateway is required you don't really need an IoT gateway in six low pan for example this messaging these signals to the enter internet are just sent by an edge router you just need a router to talk directly to the internet so the nodes are kind of directly talking to the internet using this edge router without having any gateway in between so we have you can say such kind of communication in a uh, six low pan network yeah so that it has an edge router we have already described this edge edge router part here there is so there is no need to describe again and and you can also for example in um, combine or integrate uh, six low pan with other standards like 802.15.4 standard for example zigbee and also you can integrate it with the, with the wi-fi easily and uh, you know, the most common examples uh, are using uh, the I this iot protocol six low pan are smart meters and and smart homes um, Yeah, so it's very flexible, very integratable. So it, it as because of this net mesh network, as we described, because the nodes will always try to find a path to reach the base station or the uh, of the cellular network, you know. And so, it, so you need less base stations, you know, uh, because uh, if, for example, there is a wall or there is any, for example, hindrance, the nodes are always going to find a path uh, through other nodes to reach the base station signals. Um, and uh, 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 this is, as we discussed, a very, very uh, self-healing system. For example, if any node is broken, it's going to find, uh, sorry, any communication link between two nodes is broken. The nodes are going to make new links, new paths uh, to reach the uh, edge router and then to the internet. And uh, uh, you have a, a also a very a wonderful operating system available in the market uh, which has a full stack implementation of uh, six low pan and this is called Contiki uh, operating system this Contiki operating system is uh, is used a lot in developing applications uh, IoT applications which are using the six low pan technology so this is a bit of uh, description about the six low pen uh, network uh, i hope uh, you understood in the case of any questions please um, write in the comment section and i will try to answer your questions thanks a lot